We fighting for, am I in a dream? And then how much am I in a dream? Now, you would think that I'm in a dream. I'm not in the dream. I'm not there. I mean, I'm, I just told you, I just accepted the Martin Luther King responsibility a few years ago. I just accepted it. And you know how when you first accept something, you accept it, but you're not like really walking, walking, walking in it. I'm walking in it now. I got a call from the president of Tennessee State University. And she's like, E, we're trying to do something. I need you on campus. We need you to take over the university. I'm like, let's go. Because I did it at Michigan State since 2003, but I wasn't celebrated. I was tolerated. Did it since 2003, the, univer the president of the university. She not been to one event. Well, she's not there no more, but when she was there, she, was never, she never came. The provost didn't come. The deans, nobody came. President called me like, E, that program you do, we want that program here. And watch this. They were, t they were talking to me about their budget before I could even talk to them about what I wanted. So we got 7,700 kids. We need over 8,000. We want you on campus. We need you to teach a leadership course. I said, oh, the Martin Luther King boy bought the, oh, oh, you about to give me a whole campus for the little babies? I'm about to take them to a whole nother level. Tennessee State University it will, will compete with Morehouse when I get there. It will compete with Howard when I get there. We about to take a whole, I got, I, I have resources. I got the president. Watch this. I stepped a little bit in my dream. And he was like, yep, I see you serious. So now I'm going to give you a whole university, son. And when I finish, I'm going to give you a whole city. And then be careful, son, because I might want you to run the. No, you think I'm you think I'm playing you think I'm playing. I ain't playing. I didn't ask to do this. But he said, the more you walk into it, the more I'm going to be able to. And a lot of y'all scared. Just walk into it. Stop running from it because your life ain't sweet. Since you've been running, it ain't like your life's sweet from running. So I need you just to embrace it. So write it down real quick. Write it down. Give me the number. One to ten. Give me the number. I'm going to just be brave if, I, if you don't mind. My man right here with the hat back. What number did you put down? One. Yeah, no problem. No problem. See, I need help. See, after this is over, hold me accountable. I need to do at least I need to do a, a, a call. I don't know. See, see, it work it out. But if y'all got if you put a one, I got to help you. I can't let you say one and then I don't do nothing for you. How many of y'all five and under you like from a one to five you wrote down in terms of the drink? OK, we got to help y'all. Hands down. We got to help. We got to help you. All right. That's a lot of y'all. Right. A lot of y'all don't know what your purpose or your path. We got to help you. All right. So we got to find some way. See, I don't know. You think about it for the next 30 minutes. And then when we finish, you talk to me. All right. Yes, I don't see. He the brain. You feel me? You heard him on the podcast. I'm the brain. Eat him out. So I'm spitting it out. And he better think a whole bunch over there for the next 30 minutes and come up with a sweet plan. But we can't send you out one to five. We can't send you out like that. We got it. We have to equip you and empower you to help you to get from that one to that five. Is that all right? Good. How many of you want help? I'm sorry. I'm making an assumption. How many of you want help? Let me see your hands. Good. All right. Hands down. Good. Let's go to the next one, son. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to go out. Woo. So we don't know. We didn't know who this was. Can I be real? Y'all know how old he was when he started? 62. 62. 62 years old. He waited until he was 62 to walk in the dream, and now we know him. My kids' kids gonna know who this is. I don't even eat at KFC, but they everywhere. And I don't eat at KFC, not because I'm no help, dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting older, and I know it ain't right. But I promise you, I will hit the twelve. <laughs> I got a special relationship with KFC. When we were kids, my mom would take us to Chicago every week. Every week for about seven years, and we stopped in Gary, Indiana, to my grandfather, Jesse McWilliams' house. And when we stopped at my grandfather's house, he would take us to KFC and get us a bucket of chicken. So I don't even know if I really love the chicken as much as I love my grandfather, and I love the experience. So when I see KFC, I don't see chicken. I see my grandfather who's no longer alive. And I remember when we would sit at his table and we would murder the KFC. And he was a little different. You know, mom them be on only two pieces. Don't you hate parents like that? <laughs> it's like well, two pieces. 
What is that going to do for a nine-year-old? Grant, like, Grant, get a couple buckets. Go ahead, help yourself. He was like, felt, you know, good. Help yourself with the mashed potatoes. I didn't like mashed potatoes, but he had them on it, so I ate the mashed potatoes. The biscuits, I'm killing them with honey. Anybody else do the honey with the biscuits? What about syrup? I got my wife's on that syrup tip. Anybody with syrup? Right? So look, 62 years old. Some of you in this room, if you ain't careful, you will not, it won't happen to you until you're 62. You keep, every year you, I know I, how many of y'all are like a 7 to 10, and you, but you still ain't up? Uh, fully committed. Let me see your hand real quick. You know what I'm talking about. Come on, raise your hand. You know what you're supposed to be doing. And you constantly, you from Chicago, and they double dutch. The girls that was the sweetest, I promise you, you knew who was the sweetest. Because once they started turning, if they wasn't sweet, they was like, <coughs> if they were sweet, they was like, my grand, they found me. I'm like, oh, she's sweet with it. She's sweet with it. So y'all got to do me a favor. Some of y'all just, uh, and you just, uh, I need you to write a date down that you're going to fully commit right now. Write the date down that you're going to fully commit to what you know you could be doing right, right now. I need a date. I need a date. Come on, write it down, write it down. I need you to commit. I'm going to count to three and you're going to say out loud with that, the date you wrote down. Look, I didn't tell you you needed these resources. You need to be sweet. I didn't say none of that. I said to you, just give me a date. That's all I need. My man from Tennessee State was like, E.T., when you ready? I was like, all right, August 2019. He said, August? We was thinking January 16th when the students come back. I was like, all right. <laughs> I, I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's just let this whole little year slide. Let me come in fresh. I was at, the reason why I told you to write it down because you might have a date and the creator might have a different date. But let's at least start with your date. My date was August 20, 2019. I'm geek like, yo, see, we about to take over the joint. It's going to be just like it was. Me, you, and Carl going to go down there. We're going to start the event. We're going to get the presentation. We're going to blow this thing out the water. 20, my man called me back like, all right, E, we're working on the budget right now. Um, 29th, uh, January 16th. Uh, what day can you come earlier than that, though, so we can sit down with all the parties and meet? I said, you want me to start on the 16th and you want to meet before the 16th? It's already December 16th. He's like, well, when was you thinking? I was like, like, August. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. Too many lives would be lost by that time. We got too many students already struggling, E. We need you right now. Somebody hear what I'm saying, please. You are needed right now. You are needed right now. So on three, just call the date out for me. One, two, three. Good, I like it. One, two, three. Good, good. Now I need you to stand up and let's do it. We're going to stand up. And I just want it all out. Put it all out. Like do something to say, however you go all in. Like if you like all in. If you like, ah, I don't know what you do. But on three, I want you to go all in. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Good. I am. I am. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. Come on. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. Come on. One, two, three. Come on. One, two, three. Okay. Now, now we're, about to, we're about to put this with it. We're about to put this with it. Come on. We're about to put this with it. I am. Therefore, it is. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Please, please listen, please listen, please listen. There are no barriers. There are no barriers that are holding you up. You're the only one holding you up. There is no resources holding you up. You're the only one holding you up. There is no other human that you have to wait on. You're holding you up. There's not a better opportunity than now. You are holding you up. For those of you who are transparent and brave enough, put your hand on your heart. And when I count to three, only for those that this... This applies to you. This applies to you. If you if you know it, say, E, it's going to be hard for me to do that, E, but it's the truth, so I'm going to do it. When I count to three, I want you to say, I'm holding me up. Come on, for those of you who know, you know, you know that you are making excuses, that you blaming other people, 
that you are afraid, that you walk in fear, you walk in guilt, something that happened, you had an abortion five years ago, you still own that. Ten years ago, you had an abortion, you still own that. You got caught, you went to jail, you have a felony, you still own that. I want to free you. That was five years ago. Why are you still walking in that? That was 10 years ago. You got a divorce. That you, Your mom went to the grave and she was not proud of you. She would be proud now. Walk in it. Your past is the past. And there's nothing you can do about it. I am ashamed of some of the stuff I did to my mom. Ashamed of some of the stuff I did in school. Ashamed, but it's over. And you can't hold that against me. And I will not hold it against myself. I'm free. I'm free. And whom the son has set free. He's free indeed. She is free indeed. You've been holding your blessings up because of your past. You feel bad about it. You were wrong when you did it, but it's over. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. You've already been forgiven. Accept it. And now let's walk in it. The dream is yours. But you're saying, I'm not worthy of the dream. You're probably not. But it's been given to you anyway. I'm not smart enough. You're probably not. But it doesn't matter. It was, it was given to you. And it's now your responsibility to do something with it. You've been given it. It's the gift that you never opened. It's the gift. It's yours. So I need you to forgive yourself. So, this is not for everybody. For those of you who are good, forgive me. Just give me five minutes. I'm coming back to you. But I'm talking to a specific group of people right now who walk in shame. I'm talking to a specific group of people right now who do not walk in their boldness because of something that happened and they haven't been able to let it go. I'm asking you to forgive yourself. On three, I need you to say, I am forgiven. One, two, three. No, you can do better than that. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Now you, now you saying it like you mean it. One, two, three. Therefore, I am forgiven. Oh, I am forgiven. Therefore, so we're not going to walk in that no more. We're not going to talk about that like that no more. We're not going to live in that space anymore because it's time. It's time when you walk out this door. There are millions and millions of people on this earth and we're all in a room together and there is an anointing in this room. There's a freedom in this room. Hallelujah. There's a freedom. The breakthrough is in this room. When you walk out of here, you'll never be in bondage again. Look, I know you're scared, but when you walk out of here, he ain't going to do nothing to you. You're good. I know you're scared. You're like, E, you don't understand. E, I do. I do. You, you're, looking at, you're looking at the 48-year-old E. You're not looking at the E that... When I was ready to make a change, I was still connected to the streets, and it ain't that easy. To just go to church and go to college. They don't always let you go when you're in the streets and they're taking care of you. They don't always give you a pass. They don't always say, yeah, he go, go live that life. But I'm trying to tell you that you're free. And my boy, Lil B called me and said, yo, E, I need to talk to you. I said, what's up? I thought he was going to congratulate me for a fight we got into. And he said, yo, E, you don't belong on these streets. E, you free, E. I said, what are you talking about? He said, you're not like us. You got a calling on your life and it's plain to see. E, you don't owe the streets not to E, go. We love you, go. Go, E, we going to miss you, boy. Go. Get out of Detroit, go! You got something special on your life, go! And make us proud when you go. You know, we love you and we got your back, E. 
Somebody in here, you've been in bondage long enough. You're free now. You're free. You're free. You're free. Your past is no longer your past. Matter of fact, you might need to, don't let them call you spank no more. Don't, don't call, don't let them call you little B no more. You're gonna leave here today with your new name and your new identity. And you're gonna embrace your dream. Just one more time, I'm forgiven. One, two, three. Yep, one, two, three. And I forgive myself. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. And I forgive myself. Come on. One, two, three. I am forgiven and I forgive myself. Come on. One, two, three. I am forgiven and I forgive myself. Hey dear, welcome to my channel. Fresh personal growth motivation today I speak set free by the dream 2024. First, except you are not like really working in it now. Tennis State University and I need you on campus. We need you to take over the university. I am like let's go cause I did it. State since 2023. Celebrate, I was tolerated it since university. She not been to one event. Well, the was there. She was never the neighbor. Nobody come present and want that program here and watch this about the budget before I could and wanted said we got. Here's we need over 800,000. We want leadership course, I said to the Mars and the King boy about you, about to give me a whole campus for the little babies. I am about to take them to a whole another level. Tennis State University will compete with Mons, compete with Howard. All I got, I have resource, I got the president, watch this, I stepped a little bit, I see you serious, whole university son, and when I finish, I am going to give city, and 